How to knit the rib stitch. The rib stitch, or ribbing, is often used on the edges of pieces where you need a snug fit because it's stretchy and doesn't curl. You will need a ball of yarn and a pair of knitting needles. Step one, hold the needle with all your cast on stitches in your left hand and the empty needle in your right. Position your work so the cast on stitches are at the bottom of the needle and the yarn trails away to your right. Step two, knit two stitches. Step three, wrap the yarn around so it passes in front of the needle with the new stitches. Step four, now purl two stitches. You can also rib stitch by alternating between one knit and one purl stitch, as long as you've cast on a number of stitches divisible by two, or four knit and four purl stitches, as long as the number of cast on stitches is divisible by eight. Step five, now wrap the yarn around the back of the needle with the new stitches. Step six, knit two stitches again. Step seven, wrap the yarn around the front of the needle again and purl two more stitches. Step eight, continue alternating this way between knitting and purling until you've completed the number of rib stitches required by your pattern. You should be ending with two purl stitches. Step nine, Swap the needles so the one with the stitches is back in your left hand and the empty needle is in your right hand and keep on ribbing. Knit two, purl two. Knit two, purl two. Knit two. Did you know? Some British fishermen in the 16th century wore sweaters with distinctive individualized patterns to help identify their bodies should they ever be washed overboard.